That is just one lovely aroma. Isn't it though? It's complex yeah. and uh, balanced. Mm. There's plenty going on. It's all uh, somehow coherent. Now, right at the heart of this aroma, I'll try to describe it, is the characteristic Central African or Burundi aromatic complex. You got low tone fruit like cherry. Or yeah, cherry is pronounced. There's some chocolate. I think rather than cocoa, I'd call it chocolate because it's sweet. Mm. And you smell those tremendous flowers. Wow. They don't soar above the uh, profile like you might have in Ethiopia, but they're deep right in the profile. Just beautiful. I want to say a uh, lily, perhaps. Not an Easter lily. It doesn't. It's not as lush as that. But. Uh, Tiger lily, perhaps. But you could find a lot of sweet, pl pleasing sweet flowers mm. in this if you uh, cared to. Uh, there's, a, there's a scent, a nearby scent. It's well, it uh, couldn't get too much better no, than this. No, it really couldn't. Well, here the the brightness, the acidity that you spoke about is is uh, come really comes at oh, you. Oh yeah, it's an awesome brightness. To my taste, it's a slightly too sharp right now. A little too, a little too. Uh, there's a little bit of astringency. Yeah, in it. too much of a good thing. So I have to move past that uh, first uh, impact. <laughs> of the acidity to find all of those delicious aromatic uh, characteristics I was talking yeah. about. It smooths out in the finish. It certainly does. How would you describe the mouthfeel? Man, it's really nice. Yeah, it's very balanced yeah. to kind yeah. of, you know, the sensory analogy might be uh, satin, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Not heavy, but kind of a delicate viscosity. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I haven't waited for it to cool like I sometimes do. Other than the astringency, that's a really uh, nice cup. Well, that, that's going away already. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just because this, this was my uh, first cup of the late morning. <laughs> yeah. Late morning in California. Morning. I don't know. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a break from coffee, so... Uh, Perhaps I was overly sensitive to that first hit of acidity. It's, uh, it's rounding out now, the cup's rounding out. Are we ready to uh, do a disclosure or reveal? Sure, in this we, can, we can do it because there's so much to How? talk about it. Okay, and then this one, there we go. <laughs> Neighbors coffee, Burundi African, wine, sweet, citrus, light, medium roast. The claim is it's a pea berry. What about the processing method? It's washed? a washed. It's definitely a washed coffee. I had to call yeah. them to find that out. Well, if there's anybody who, uh, around this season, any rate, and, and is close and uh, is close to a computer to order Neighbors coffee, a uh, Burundi. Uh, this would be a, a just an excellent introduction yeah. to, to the to the best Burundi traditional style. It's just very, very good. Wine is a typical descriptor. I didn't. Uh, I can get wine. Yeah, red wine or kind of claret. Let me try. I suppose that was the notes I was calling cherry. It would have to be a kind of a grapey wine, I think. Yeah. A kind of a accessible red wine, yeah. I guess. Table wine. But beautiful coffee. Yeah. It's the kind of coffee that drinks well uh, for a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not talking much because I'm drinking. The 
country is so small and the growing, the coffee growing regions are so compact and close to one another that I'm not persuaded by the differences that some people find in these, uh, between these regions. Mm -hmm. the, I think people who really track uh, Burundi and Central African coffees, they go by the washing station. They observe and have loyalty to certain washing stations because they bring in coffee from a, a kind of a coherent region around the washing station and the processing is consistent. Usually the roasters don't give us the washing station. Sometimes they, they do. We, I had a couple that did. This one did not, although they did tell me that they, they've had the same uh, person they've procured their coffee from for years, and they're a roaster that's established in 1972. That cherry, possibly wine character is coming up beautifully. So is that semi-dry chocolate note. Or yeah. Sweet cocoa, I guess. Yeah. yeah. What a coffee. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more shows like this.